thanks for tuning in. I appreciate you so much. And today we are going to talk about are you tired or are you overwhelmed with trying to meet your resolutions? And it's only day four into the year. My name is Dr. Jeanette DeWitt. I am a doctor of physical therapy and a life transformation coach. This is normal. I just want to tell you that if you are feeling overwhelmed because you had all this excitement, all of this anticipation about starting your resolutions, about starting your goals, and it's day four and you are feeling completely overwhelmed. It is absolutely normal. That's what happens when we try to make changes. And I will caution you and say it happens even more if we try to make too many changes all at once. Now, all of us probably have the best of intentions when we're trying to get healthy. Maybe we're trying to lose weight. Maybe we're just trying to feel better and use food as fuel for energy. Maybe we're trying to train for something, for an event in the spring. If you're a marathoner, this is a common time to start a new marathon training plan. Maybe you're just trying to get more sleep because your sleep has fallen to the wayside. Whatever your resolutions are, if you set too many of them, it can be overwhelming. It can also be unrealistic. And then what we start to do is we feel bad about ourselves. We feel guilty. And if you're an emotional eater, you might eat a whole bunch of things that you didn't anticipate because you're trying to make that feeling go away. And that didn't solve the problem. It actually made it worse. Or maybe you're trying to do too many things in one day and you stay up later than you were expecting to stay up and then you lose sleep and you're tired and you're irritable the next day and the cycle just keeps going. All in your mind thinking that you're trying to make positive changes and you have the best of intentions. So first of all, if you've already experienced this or you're thinking, whoo, I'm starting to feel a little anxious or overwhelmed about all the changes that I wanted to, to make this year, I want you to first take a breath. I also want you to make sure that your goals and your resolutions are written down. In previous videos, throughout the time I've been creating videos, I've talked about SMART goals. A lot of re resolutions fail because they're too big. And when we set these really big, unrealistic resolutions and they don't happen, especially if they don't happen right away, we can often end up feeling overwhelmed and disappointed. And we can get burned out trying to spin our wheels about them. So what I want to encourage you to do is set SMART goals. Have a specific, measurable, attainable, realistic, and timely goal. And if you have this big goal that you want to accomplish, break it down into little steps. And then ask yourself, what can I do today to move my life forward to where I want to be? Appreciate the process. Appreciate that you took one step forward toward meeting that goal, even if you didn't reach that goal today, because there are some goals that can't be done in 24 hours. I mentioned the marathoner before. You can't train for 26.2 miles today if you've never run a mile. So what can you do today to make a difference toward the goal that you're trying to achieve? That's what I want to encourage you today with is it is absolutely normal to feel overwhelmed when you are trying to make changes for the good in your life. It is absolutely normal for you to feel a little bit, whoa, what did I try to set for myself? Take a step back, take a deep breath and focus on one thing at a time. Maybe you want to lose weight. Maybe you want to get more sleep. Maybe you want to just be more consistent with drinking water. Pick one. Let's just say it's water. I want to replace one soda today with a glass of water. And I'm going to focus on that today. 
Then the next day you do the same thing and you do the same thing and you do the same thing. So for one week, that's all you focus on. And then the next week you say, okay, I've done my water goal. I've replaced one soda. I'm going to try and go to bed 15 minutes earlier to try and improve my sleep. And you focus on that goal. You keep up with the water intake, but then you focus on the 15 minutes earlier to bed to start to work towards your sleep goal. You do that for a week. Then the next week you say, you know, I only eat two vegetables per day and I don't eat any fruit. So I'm going to try and get two vegetables and two fruits each day. The goal ultimately would be five to nine, but I'm going to start with two. And then you keep your water goal, you keep your sleep goal, where you're going to bed 15 minutes early like you did the week before, and then you try and add in two fruits along with the two vegetables that you're already doing. Do you see how this is doable? You're focusing on one thing for each week, and then you're building on that week by week by week. So the next thing you know, six months later, you have some healthier habits that are happening over time and you're more consistent instead of trying to change everything all at once. Most of us are going to crash and burn on that effort. I just encourage you, step back, take a break. Appreciate where you are right now and just understanding that you're not where you don't want, that you're not where you want to be. And then focus on one thing to work toward the goal of where you want to be. Appreciate the journey. Appreciate the process. Love yourself in the process and give yourself little mini rewards along the way. I hope this helps you. If you're feeling overwhelmed, if you feel like you really aren't sure if you can meet the goals and you want to talk with someone like me who's a specialist who for their career coaches people and helps people achieve the results that they want, private message me, reach out to me, and I am happy to start a conversation with you. Thanks a lot. I appreciate you and enjoy the rest of your day.